everybody, it's Red Street Roundup time and we are down to the last two videos uh, to talk about our kids. The first thing we want to talk about today is Miss Kim Shaw and her spirit shop class. Uh, these are shirts that we got, uh, the Python Girls basketball team did a fundraiser and with our spirit shop and they did a fantastic job. We're so excited. There are so many shirts of these walking around today. The kids have them on, the staff has them on. So nice job Kim Shaw, nice job students. Uh, way to really come through on that very first t-shirt order. Good, good job. Now, we had uh, Math 24 going on, folks, and uh, again, home with the champs. Our seventh grade Math 24 team were the champs, the county champs. I believe that was a couple days ago. And Cody Chapman, Cody Chapman was the overall winner for the seventh grade, so nice job, Cody. Now, let's get to some academics. Uh, we had a fantastic, fantastic honors banquet. We had 137 kids, the most ever eligible for our honors banquet. Uh, we moved this year from the cafeteria into the new gymnasium. We had plenty of room. Thank you to the parents and thank you to the students that took the time to show up. A great turnout uh, and we got a chance to brag on our kids about academics and put that first and foremost. So wonderful 2015 honors banquet. Now we want to finish with academics. Uh, something else went on the other day, something big we love every year. Our NHS had their inductions and we had eight seniors and 31 juniors that went in this year. So 39 kids were added to our NHS. And folks, every school has something unique about it. I've had the opportunity to be in five different schools, whether it be a teacher or a coach, uh, athletic director, principal, assistant principal, and each school that I've been in has something that's uniquely theirs. And what you are looking at now is something that is uniquely piped in. This is the boards for our National Honor Society. And this is no, these are no ordinary boards. These are boards that go all the way back to the 60s. You're talking about three generations of folks, three generations of families that are possibly on this board. And we're going to add 39 more to this. And if you go through this board, it's just a walk through history. I'm going to start back here a little bit. I'm just going to pull out some random names. If you just look at last year, we've got uh, Savannah Fletcher right here in 14. If you come through here, we got Amber Hodge in 10. Uh, we're looking at uh, Bonnie Wilbur in 7. Uh, we're looking at uh, Brandy Bianco in 05, Erica Shepard in 04. Uh, let's go back down here. We've got uh, Justin Parmeter in 98. Uh, just walking through here. Tommy Brewster in 92. Uh, we've got our own Josh Amato and Patrick Williams back and forth uh, on top of each other. The Waverly Tech guy and the Piketon Tech guy right here in 91, 92. Uh, still to walk. We've got D.D. Spencer right here in 86. Uh, coming down, we've got um, Alan Crabtree in 1980. Uh, we've got um, Tom Hartsock, 1973. Going through, we've got um, Sharon Grooms, 1970. And then we go all the way back to the beginning. And the very first name is Delmer Burkett, 1964, which happened to be my junior high principal for a couple years. So folks, this is a board that's just amazing. It's a part of our fabric of history, and we're so very proud to add 39 new names. So with that, as always, it's a great day to be a Python Red Streak. Thank you.